Hello everyone for more updates subscribe turn on notification what is malware, malware, or malicious software is an umbrella term that describes any malicious program or code that is harmful to systems. Hostile, intrusive, and intentionally nasty, malware seeks to invade, damage, or disable computers, computer systems, networks, tablets, and mobile devices, often by taking partial control over a device's operations. Like the human flu, it interferes with normal functioning. Malware is all about making money off you illicitly. Although malware cannot damage the physical hardware of systems or network equipment with one known exception, it can steal, encrypt, or delete your data, alter or hijack core computer functions, and spy on your computer activity without your knowledge or permission. History The term malware was first used by computer scientist and security researcher Yisrael Radai in 1990. However, malware existed long before this. One of the first known examples of malware was the Creeper virus in 1971, which was created as an experiment by BBN Technologies engineer Robert Thomas. Creeper was designed to infect mainframes on ARPANET. While the program did not alter functions, or steal or delete data, the program moved from one mainframe to another without permission while displaying a teletype message that read, I'm the Creeper, catch me if you can. Creeper was later altered by computer scientist Ray Tomlinson, who added the ability to self-replicate to the virus and created the first known computer worm. The concept of malware took root in the technology industry, and examples of viruses and worms began to appear on Apple and IBM personal computers in the early 1980s before becoming popularized following the introduction of the World Wide Web and the commercial Internet in the 1990s. Mobile malware Malware can also be found on mobile phones and can provide access to the device's components such as the camera, microphone, GPS or accelerometer. Malware can be contracted on a mobile device if the user downloads an unofficial application or if they click on a malicious link from an email or text message. A mobile device can also be infected through a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. Malware is found much more commonly on devices that run the Android OS comparatively to iOS devices. Malware on Android devices is usually downloaded through applications. Signs that an Android device is infected with malware include unusual increases in data usage, a quickly dissipating battery charge or calls, texts and emails being sent to the device contacts without the user's knowledge. Similarly, if a user receives a message from a recognized contact that seems suspicious, it may be from a type of a mobile malware that spreads between devices. Apple iOS devices are rarely infected with malware because Apple carefully vets the applications sold in the App Store. However, it is still possible for an iOS device to be infected by opening an unknown link found in an email or text message. iOS devices will become more vulnerable if jailbroken. What are the most common forms of malware? Here are the most common offenders in the rogues gallery of malware. 1. Adware is unwanted software designed to throw advertisements up on your screen, most often within a web browser. Typically, it uses an underhanded method to either disguise itself as legitimate, or piggyback on another program to trick you into installing it on your PC, tablet, or mobile device. 2. Spyware is malware that secretly observes the computer user's activities without permission and reports it to the software's author. 3. A virus is malware that attaches to another program and, when executed, usually inadvertently by the user, replicates itself by modifying other computer programs and infecting them with its own bits of code. 4. Worms are a type of malware similar to viruses, self-replicating in order to spread to other computers over a network, usually causing harm by destroying data and files. 5. A Trojan, or Trojan horse, is one of the most dangerous malware types. It usually represents itself as something useful in order to trick you. Once it's on your system, the attackers behind the Trojan gain unauthorized access to the affected computer. From there, Trojans can be used to steal financial information or install threats like viruses and ransomware. 6. Ransomware is a form of malware that locks you out of your device and or encrypts your files, then forces you to pay a ransom to get them back. Ransomware has been called the cyber criminal's weapon of choice because it demands a quick profitable payment in hard-to-trace cryptocurrency. The code behind ransomware is easy to obtain through online criminal marketplaces and defending against it is very difficult. 7. Rootkit is a form of malware that provides the attacker with administrator privileges on the infected system. 
Typically, it is also designed to stay hidden from the user, other software on the system, and the operating system itself. 8. A keylogger is malware that records all the user's keystrokes on the keyboard, typically storing the gathered information and sending it to the attacker, who is seeking sensitive information like usernames, passwords, or credit card details. 9. Malicious cryptomining, also sometimes called drive-by-mining or cryptojacking, is an increasingly prevalent malware usually installed by a Trojan. It allows someone else to use your computer to mine cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Monero. So instead of letting you cash in on your own computer's horsepower, the crypto miners send the collected coins into their own account and not yours essentially, a malicious crypto miner is stealing your resources to make money. 10. Exploits are a type of malware that takes advantage of bugs and vulnerabilities in a system in order to allow the exploit's creator to take control. Among other threats, exploits are linked to malvertising, which attacks through a legitimate site that unknowingly pulls in malicious content from a bad site. Then the bad content tries to install itself on your computer in a drive by download. No clicking is necessary. All you have to do is visit a good site on the wrong day. How does malware spread? Each type of malware has its own unique way of causing havoc, and most rely on user action of some kind. Some strains are delivered over email via a link or executable file. Others are delivered via instant messaging or social media. Even mobile phones are vulnerable to attack. It is essential that organizations are aware of all vulnerabilities so they can lay down an effective line of defense. How can I tell if I have a malware infection? Malware can reveal itself with many different aberrant behaviors. Here are a few telltale signs that you have malware on your system. 1. Your computer slows down. One of malware's main effects is to reduce the speed of your operating system, whether you're navigating the internet or just using your local applications. 2. A tidal wave of annoying ads that shouldn't be there washes over your screen. Unexpected pop-up ads are a typical sign of a malware infection. They're especially associated with a form of malware known as adware. What's more, pop-ups usually come packaged with other hidden malware threats. So if you see something akin to congratulations, you've won a free psychic reading, in a pop-up, don't click on it. Whatever free prize the ad promises, it will cost you plenty. 3. Your system repeatedly crashes, freezes, or displays a BSOD, blue screen of death, which can occur on Windows systems after encountering a fatal error. 4. You notice a mysterious loss of disk space, probably due to a bloated malware squatter which hides in your hard drive. 5. There's a weird increase in your system's internet activity. 6. Usage of your system resources is abnormally high and your computer's fan starts whirling away at full speed, signs of malware activity taking up system resources in the background. 7. Your browser's homepage changes without your permission. Similarly, links you click send you to an unwanted web destination. This usually means you clicked on that congratulations pop-up, which downloaded some unwanted software. Likewise, your browser might slow to a crawl. 8. New toolbars, extensions, or plugins unexpectedly populate your browser. 9. Your antivirus product stops working and you cannot update it, leaving you unprotected against the sneaky malware that disabled it. 10. Then there's the painfully obvious, intentionally non-stealthy malware attack. This famously happens with ransomware, which announces itself, tells you it has your data, and demands a ransom to return your files. 11. Even if everything seems to be working just fine on your system, don't get complacent, because no news isn't necessarily good news. Powerful malware can hide deep in your computer, going about its dirty business without raising any red flags as it snags your passwords, steals sensitive files, or uses your PC to spread to other computers. Thanks for watching.